Hello everyone, Rika here, and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So, I decided to pick this one because I thought I hadn't finished the first game, but I had completed the first five nights of the original game. That will be going over on the Blue Helix Archive channel. So we're gonna start with two here, and I'm gonna try to get through night six, but if it ends up being that I just can't, I'm just gonna move on to three, and we'll do that until we've beaten all the games, including the RPG one, FNAF World, and uh, was the other one Pizza Simulator, the one that's like a tycoon game. So we're gonna we're gonna do all these, and this time. I've actually got headphones and a camera so you guys can see my scared reactions with the animatronics inevitably scary. So let's get into this. Grand reopening! Vintage Pizzeria! Give a new life! Come be a part of the new face of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza! What could go wrong? A hundred dollars and fifty cents a week? What? <laughs> to risk my life? Are you kidding me? Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Hello, hello. Uh, hello and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I Great. want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old location, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but uh, I want to reassure you, Fazbear Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility, they even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> that neat. But most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Heck, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, no. Now, that being said, no new system is without its kink. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. One? What? Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. Uh, uh wait, 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 where's Bonnie? In the system, oh. Talking about the robot thing you as an endoskeleton without his costume on. And what? Stuff you into the suit. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quirky modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. Oh, so good! Don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights, put on the golden. if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. I don't like this, guys. Oh, oh, I like this not at all. 
I like this not at all! Oh. Oh no. Oh no. No. No no. No no no. No no. Oh no. I like this not at all. Duh. Which one does Chica come through? Duh, jeez, guys. Why do I put myself into these situations? <gasps> I heard the vents. Oh, there's something in the vents. There's something in the vents! Oh no. Oh, balloon boy took me! Hi, buddy! Something in the vent. Oh, it's funny. Guys, 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 why? Why is this a, this a thing? Why? We beat night, uh, the first. Beat night the first. Can I exit? Will it save if I exit? I'm a. <laughs> okay. So. I want to do a night of video. So. We should end this off on night six, because I am not doing 2020 mode on this one. No. That is not happening. This is the hardest game in the series from what I understand, and I'm not gonna put myself through, like, probably 12 hours worth of just wanting to pull my hair out. It's just... I... I just... I'm not. If you want to see it, there are plenty of people who have beaten the 20 modes on these. I'm not going to be one of them. I was that ambitious before. I'm not anymore. I tried to beat Night 6 on the first one. I couldn't even get through Night 6. So I don't even want to know what 2020 mode will be like. 
I think I tried it a little bit, but I don't even remember if I recorded it. I think I might have and scrapped it because it was just that bad. Anyway, I will get through the first five nights. If I can't beat the sixth night like in the other ones, I'm just going to call it and we'll end it there and we'll move on to the third one because once we get past the first four... Once we get to, like, Sister Location and Pizza Simulator and FNAF World, that's where more of the fun games came out. Like, these- the first four are roughly the same formula, you know, five nights of the same thing. With two extra if you decide to do them. But, uh, once we get to Sister Location, I will beat all of those. I don't know if I'm gonna try Ultimate Custom Night, because- Again, that's just, like, well, I might do the challenges, because there are challenges in Ultimate Custom Night, but I don't know if I'm going to put myself through what Daco put himself through trying to beat Ultimate Custom Night. So, like, you guys want to see that beat, go check out Daco. He, he was, oh man, he put so much effort into beating that game, so, um, anyway... With that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next episode. There we go. And, uh, yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying Shocktober, so... See you guys. Rika, signing out.